good. I'm blessed. Are you looking forward to December the 7th? Come on now, absolutely. This is going to be a, this is going to be the most electrifying fight of the uh, year. So I, I'm the co-main feature. I'm the one that gets it all hyped. You know what I'm saying for the for the big bang. So I'm looking forward for my fight and um, the main event as well. So it's going to be very exciting. Uh, the night that night, and um, it's going to be a beautiful uh, competitive you know bouts on, on the card. Um, I mean everything about that fight says excitement, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's you know, in a foreign place that, you know, I've always, it's been my dream to always fight overseas and be, you know, one more thing to my dream, you know. And are you worried about the left hook of a record or? Yeah, well, you know, we know that's all he got, and um, so we're going to definitely take that away from him, and, uh, you know, um, we're going to go from there, you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be a beautiful night, though, I'm gonna, definitely going to display some good boxing and uh, you know they're not going to be able to deny me as a heavyweight from here on out so we'll see what happens I'm excited and are you worried about the cardio difference or the athletes uh, are they no we just you know we just go over there and try to adjust a little bit you know earlier uh, it shouldn't be a problem uh, we you know that's what we train we train like that you know so you know there's different little tactics little different um uh, theories and techniques that we use to you know, acclimate with the time and, and everything like that, so it should be perfect. Does it help that Hashi Rahman also went to the main? Say again? Does it help that Hashi Rahman also went away to the main in Africa? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. You know, he's been, he's a vet when it comes to, you know, meeting somebody, you know, overseas and, you know, in the business of boxing and, and strategy, so. Uh, it's definitely going to work in my favor, you know, uh, being in a Muslim country, you know, uh, with him and everybody else being Muslim and everybody, so it's, it's going to be a great feeling for me. And one final thing, you put Herdovich on the same undercard. I'm sure that that's a fight which can happen in the future. Um, I mean, it could, you know, we already kind of asked for that fight. I, I don't think it would, it would happen, but you never know, you know, boxing is a strange sport. Um, so many ups and downs and, you know, excitements and... So you never know. I hope you know. I just want to fight the best. You know, whoever they deem the best, uh, that's who I want. I'm also in 2020. Do you think you've got a world title with me? Absolutely. You know, this fight is going to be mandatory. So it, you know, I'll be hopefully getting some type of title in 2020 and uh, shocking the world one more time. And one last thing. What do you think is going to happen with Josh Lewis? Man, it's very hard to say, you know. I kind of kind of predicted the last fight to not go as way people thought it did. But this fight is a little different. You know, Anthony, I know he has he has to have animosity. He has to fight with fire, you know, and I think he was he was very calm in in the first fight, you know, a little too calm. Uh, I think he kind of slightly overlooked him, but I think it's gonna be a different fight. Um, but Andy Ruiz is, uh, to me, a more talented overall fighter as far as skills, um, you know, so it just depends on, I think it depends on really Anthony Joshua, uh, the way uh, his mentality is that night. Okay. Thank you so much for Yeah, thank you.